Cheeto, um, thanks once again for taking us through uh, how to use the scene viewer. And I guess to end out this session, what I'd like to do is just show people very quickly how you can easily load structures into Nanome and how it doesn't necessarily have to uh, interrupt your workflows. Nanome actually good. puts loading structures front and center. So we have a, a load menu here that lets you load from a number of different sources. Could be files Fantastic. on your local headset. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're cabled into PC VR, it can be from the hard drive of that computer. Uh, an online right. database source, such as the RCSB database, all you need to know is a PDB ID. You can do it from the actual built-in web browser uh, and the vault. So that distributed file system we described earlier that's hosted on the Nanome cloud. But a final that's way of getting structures in really easily is using QuickDrop. Um, QuickDrop is found on the home.nanome.ai website. And once you're logged in, it allows you should do things like drag and drop files so that the next time you open a nanome session the actual molecule will load into the space with you so i'll tell you what i'm going to actually um just pop up my headset i'm going to drag and okay. drop a file across and then let's join a new room together and we'll okay. be able to actually see that molecule welcome back cheeto uh and there wow. we go that's, oh, that's uh base. that's that's definitely a kinase in front of us right that's um an apo structure as you can see with just this um, <clears throat> counter iron here. It's that magnesium. Okay, that's great. Mm. That's amazing, Simon. So you showed me, you showed us a few th mm. a few things that you can do to upload files into Nanome. And that's amazing. Is it possible, Simon, to actually use your own databases? Let's say you had an API or something instead of pulling it from the PDB. Uh, yeah, absolutely. If we've um, showed you some of the stacks of Earlier, but these are all just effectively Pythonic uh, plugins that are running on the Nanome Cloud right now. Um, these are the ones that we're allowed to show. But, but if you wanted to integrate this into your own database, the Nanome API will allow you to actually grab data from a remote source, bring it in, and change how it is uh, viewed. And this is actually how Nanome develops all of its plugins with external computational chemistry tools. Oh, that's great. That's really great. That's a fantastic a bit of knowledge there because I think some 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 clients might have structures that are already set up in their own databases and would like to see them in the room. It's amazing. Okay, well, I think that's probably a good place to cap it. Um, thanks again for all your time and uh, thank you for uh, everyone joining us in this uh, Nanome session and we will see you in the next one. Bye, Chido. Bye-bye, Simon. Thank you. <laughs>